Hey guys, it's Sarah from ExtremeTrain.com and today we have a review and install of the Max Built Trail Tail LED taillights, fitting your 97 through 06 Jeep Wrangler TJs. These taillights feature a tough plastic construction and slim waterproof design with LEDs to improve the visibility of your Jeep at night. So these taillights were designed for off-road use so they don't include a license plate light. If you'd like to keep your license plate in the factory location, you will need to add one, or you can choose a relocation kit that includes a license plate light. Coming in at around $190, these are middle of the road price wise, but this slim LED design will function much better than the OE replacement style. I'm giving this install two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. It can be done in approximately one hour, but does require some minor wiring. Also, if you'd like to keep your license plate in the factory location, you will need to trim the license plate frame. But with that said, let's jump right into our install. For this install, we used an impact gun, a 3H drive ratchet, a small extension, a Phillips head socket, a 3 16 Allen socket, a 12 millimeter socket, a 10 millimeter socket, wire strippers and crimpers, needle nose pliers, some spade connectors and vampire clips, a paint marker, and a body saw. So the first step in our uninstall is to remove the four Phillips head screws at each corner of our taillight. Next up, using a 10 millimeter socket, remove the three bolts on the inside of your taillight. Pull the wiring harness forward to reveal the connector. Press back on the connector and release it. Repeat those steps on the other side. All right, now that we have our stock taillights uninstalled from our Jeep, we can put them side by side with our trail tail taillights and really check out some of the similarities and differences. Now, right off the bat, the only similarity here is that they're both made of plastic. The trail tail is quite a bit beefier in design than factory, and it's also waterproof. It also features upgraded LEDs, which are gonna be much brighter than your factory bulbs. The only downside to this taillight is that you do need to add a license plate light if you'd like to keep it street legal. But with that said, let's get these installed on our Jeep. All right, so there's lots of different ways to wire these up. We are gonna be using vampire clips and spade connectors. If you'd like to do it another way, as long as you're getting these wires to the proper wires on the Jeep, it will work. So let's flip this over. We're gonna start with our ground wire. Now you will have to find a ground spot on the Jeep. So we're gonna put an eyelet on this wire for now so that we can ground it once it's on our Jeep. These wires are already stripped, so once you have your connector in place, grab the crimpers and crimp that nice and tight. Just double check that you have a good connection. Let's move on to the rest of our wires. Now the rest will get this spade connector that's gonna go on our vampire clip later. Repeat that with the white and red wires.
Now repeat that exact same process with your other light. Starting with our ground. All right, let's get these installed on our Jeep. At this point, we can attach the vampire clips to the wires on the connectors on our Jeep. Starting with the purple and black one, line up your vampire clip. May need to grab the pliers for this one. Doesn't want to grab. Moving on next to the red and brown one. We're just using the pliers to just gently squeeze this shut so it contacts with our wire. And finally, the yellow and black one. Now this is the passenger side of the Jeep. We won't be using this red and green one. Moving on to our driver's side, we will be using all three of these wires. So get your vampire clips and we'll get started clamping them on. All right, let's get our lights bolted up. All right, so grab your passenger side taillight to start. They are side specific, so make sure you got the one with the LEDs on the outside. Grab your wires and run them through the opening. And then grab the included hardware. Then grab a 3 16 Allen key and tighten these down. So the red wire on our taillight is going to go to the black and yellow wire on our TJ's wiring harness. Next up, the brown with red down here is going to go to the yellow wire on our taillight. And finally, the purple and black wire is gonna go to the white on our taillight. Now we can do our ground. Now there's a bunch of different ways to do a ground. Basically anywhere where it contacts metal will work. But what we're gonna do is grab a nut and just go to the back of one of the bolts that hold in our tail leg. Placing the eyelet over the end of that bolt, grab a nut and thread it on there. 
I'm gonna grab a 10 millimeter and tighten this down. All right, so we will have to cut our license plate frame in order to get these mounted. What I'm gonna do is hold this up here. We're gonna mark right around where we wanna cut. It looks to be up about ballpark right at the top of the actual license plate itself. All right, with our marks made, grab a 10 millimeter socket and get our license plate and the frame removed. There should be four bolts behind the license plate. Remove these as well. All right, so using a body saw, we're just gonna cut along the lines that we made so that it can clear our taillight. All right, so once you're done cutting this, you can clean it up with a file if you like, or even an angle grinder. But once you're happy with this cut, we can get it reinstalled on the Jeep. All right, so it's a little bit easier to get the light mounted up first. Grab your wiring harness and thread it through this hole here. And line up the provided hardware with these two holes at the bottom of this triangle. Grab a 3 16 Allen socket and tighten these down. Now we can reinstall our license plate frame using the factory hardware. Now using a 10 millimeter socket, let's tighten these down. Now we can reinstall our license plate with the factory hardware. All right, so now we can attach the red pigtail on our taillight to the black and yellow connector on our factory harness. Next up is the green and red wire on our factory harness. This one in the center here. And this one is gonna go to the yellow wire on our taillight. And finally, the purple and black is gonna to go to the white on our taillight.
Next up we have the ground. This is on an eyelet. And this is gonna go to the back of one of the bolts that are holding in the tail light. Thread a nut onto the end of this bolt. And then using a 12 millimeter socket, tighten it down. All right, so that's gonna do it for the review and install of these Trailtail taillights. Remember, for all things Jeep, keep it at extremeterrain.com.